this week, our Asia correspondent, Tony Pillos, goes underground to get the inside story on Singapore's Fibre to the Home National Broadband Network. When Telecom TV does an in-depth investigation into NBN, or Next Generation Networks, it really does them in depth. Singapore is an island with limited land mass and the majority of Singaporeans live in apartment buildings, many built by the government's Housing Development Board or HDB. This week, OpenNet and the IDA showed us just how the rollout of Singapore's national broadband network is progressing. On the COs, or that's changed, that's George Chang from OpenNet was our guide. Uh, the main distribution frames room this is where all the telecom equipments, uh, the, the telecom operators put all the fibres inside here, right? George explained to me that the main fibre coming in, or lead cable as it is known, is directly linked to one of nine central offices around Singapore. Once it reaches the main distribution frame, it is split further and fed into what are known as fibre distribution frames. In here, a number of cards or splitters provide an individual interconnection point for each property connection. The cable from the splitter has a plug-like connector allowing for a quick and easy activation of broadband services to each property. HDB buildings have been well planned out and provision was made in their construction for utilities to be delivered directly to each apartment via dedicated ducts or risers. Service will also be provided to all commercial and residential properties in Singapore. Acting Minister for Information, Communications and the Arts, Rear Admiral Lu Tuck Yu was on hand to inspect one of the very first connections. OpenNet now is uh, cabling up the buildings and starting with the homes. Uh, Nucleus Connect, which is the OCO, will follow closely behind uh, and then they will push this out to the RSPs. Uh, we hope that uh, by the end of the first half of 2010, we will see commercial services being made available. It's amazing to think that a piece of glass fibre about the thickness of a human hair can now carry up to one gigabyte of data to homes in Singapore. And it's planned to take up to 40 gigabytes in the future. The Singapore rollout plan is that by December 2009, 15% of homes will be reached by fibre. At the end of 2010, up to 60% of homes in Singapore. And by 30th of June 2012, 95% of properties in Singapore will have fibre right to the home. It's a story we're watching with great interest and we'll keep following it right through. This is Tony Poulos reporting from Singapore.